Let's take a look why multi-inheritance is such a powerful feature. Let's assume I have a class person with a couple of properties. Um, let's say just two, the name and the date of birth. And if this is um, a persistent class, then by default inherits from one system class, which is percent persistent. Let's assume I have the need to take one of these instances and serialize them to JSON. So how you can do this is you just subclass from percentage JSON dot adapter, which adds functionality to this class. It gives you two additional methods, one for um, serializing to JSON and the other one for serializing from JSON. So by subclassing, um, I can easily create a JSON stream like this with my name on it and the date of birth. Or I can take a JSON stream that complies with the structure and load it into an object instance of the person class. Let's assume I also have the need to serialize from into XML. So you just add another adapter, the XML adapter, to the list of your superclasses. And this allows you to create XML representations of your person class. For the sake of it, just go with the name. And here go the other properties. So just by adding more superclasses to my list, I basically can um, serialize from into JSON, from into XML, and use this also to, let's say, convert XML format into a JSON format just by importing an XML structure into my object instance and then serializing it to JSON. This flexibility is what makes your database platform truly powerful.